Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Progressive Discussions. I just want to show you something I got in the mail. It's hilarious, it pisses me off, and it, and it inspires me to definitely get the word out to everyone to make sure you register to vote for this November 2018. This looks like a personal check when I first opened up the letter from Vice President Mike Pence, who makes no sense. I thought it was a check from the government to me, to cash. Oh no, it's a campaign contribution to be made to be made to every Republican candidate for this November 2018 election. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a cold day in hell before I vote for a conservative, ever. Especially an establishment two-party system a politician, a corporate whore, right? Look at that. You can zoom in if you want. Mike Pence, okay, $35, and it looks like it was handwritten, but it's not. It says here $1 for each Senate race in 2018. $35 and zero cents, Republican National Committee. You believe this this crap? I don't. From the evangelical religious freak, Vice President Mike Pence. Unbelievable. Progressive discussions coming at you. It's cumulative. I think it's cumulative freaking stress and the weather. In the paper, I was in the paper today. Jersey's the most stressed out state in the nation. Yeah, we got more. You hear that? Oh, yeah. Well, look at the cost of living in, in this New Jersey. You want to laugh? I thought this was a personal check from Vice President Mike Pence. It's, it's, it looks like a handwritten personal check, right? For $35. I open it up. It's a, it's a sneaky way to get me to, um, to contribute to all the Republican candidates for this November. From, it says pay, from Mike Pence, Vice President Mike Pence, who makes no sense. I laugh when I saw it. It says one dollar for each Senate race for Republicans. Mike Pence, and it's it's like I know it's not done by him personally, but hey, I'll be a cold day in hell before I vote for any of those. Republicans. Give a rat's ass about you. Oh no, no, and 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 Trump just disrespected all the women that were sexually assaulted. I mean, twice, more than once. <laughs> I know. I'm, if, I just thought it was ridiculous, but then again, I received 
serious business envelopes from car dealers, insur uh, insurance companies. You open it up and you think it's a real serious letter, but it's not. It's insane. Personal check my ass. I'm not giving them any. I wouldn't give them one red cent. Oh, by the way, do you use VIX? Because I have brand new, I have some brand new jars in the car. Too greasy. What are you doing? I stick it in my nose. Uh, that's too greasy. I don't uh... Yeah. I mean, I got to be really sick to rub my chest and put a tissue on it. But I put it in my nostril. Yeah, it's too greasy. That's too petroleum. Yeah. Yeah, but it's out of eucalyptus menthol. Yeah, I don't care. It's greasy. I don't like, I, I've got this aversion to grease my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Petroleum jelly, yeah, that is the that is the I base. I don't like grease. That's yeah. the end of the argument. Yeah. I don't like grease. Yeah. I just put it in my nose if I'm if I'm congested. Oh, I'm not. Me I don't like grease. I want nowhere near me. You rather take a like I, like medication. I don't like grease. Yeah. Like Nyquil or ther um, I don't ther like grease. You don't like no. That's it not go away. It, it spreads. I know. Everything yeah. you touch. Well, I'm saying hey. Theraflu. <laughs> Express is liquid, NyQuil, NyQuil. Yeah, but we're talking about grease. I don't like grease. Yeah. Horrible. Now, some people tell you it's always oh, related to mineral oil, it's natural, but I don't, I don't know about greasy, that. I don't care. It's greasy. It's greasy, I will not use it. It does, it's not like O'Keefe, which no, absorbs right into you. Stop, I said, stop arguing with me. It's greasy. I don't like grease. I said, why do you all keep talking about it? Oh. I have an aversion to grease. That's it. And they want to go on and on and shut up. Oh. It's like it's like I never I never like chains around my neck. My uncle is the same way. I, I never like anything on my Adam's apple. I can't even taste this. This is awesome. Oh, dear. Oh. Of course, it's chilly in here. What else is new, right? Sucks in here. I don't know how to run this fucking place. Uh. <laughs> oh, you've you got to learn to run a fucking place. Oh, you mean some of the higher uh, quit already? Oh, the maintenance guy seeks to left. Oh, jeez. <laughs> A lot of them have left. It's fed up. To keep them separated for as long as possible. So I did. And then the new chicks were really ready. Nice. Right. The right. manager said, I learned so much from you. <clears throat> you told me so much about business and management and people. I said, thank you. You know, it'd be great if there was a suggestion box that the, the owner actually read the oh, suggestion. Bullshit. Jimmy, they've got it on the window over there. And it, how are we doing? Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. It's lip service. They all have that now. That's yeah. what I mean. So why bother? So what's the difference between that and the goddamn box? You know? Oh, box. Ooh, they're going to really read those now. No, they're not. They don't care. They don't have a clue. That's what pisses you off. They don't listen. I remember, God rest his soul, when Eddie Koch was mayor of New York, he used to do that. Let me know how you're doing. There are those. Yeah, remember that? Like that's gonna change your. It's easy to say it. <laughs> Do you listen to the responses or demands of the people? No. Why? Because you're an idiot. You know, you're a liar. Yeah. That's like, that's like the month um, the, the troll Rudy Giuliani saying truth is not truth. Then what is it? And what is what is? You never said what it was then. If it's not, it's gotta be something. <laughs> Giuliani, he's, like, he's a troll, man. He's a, why, too? You know, oh, we haven't heard of him. We haven't heard of him. We haven't heard of him. Shut your mouth. So, uh, well, quiet. now he just lets Trump bury himself deeper and deeper. He doesn't need any help, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, read what you sow is what I said. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What they want? Now you suffer, right? Yeah, you dig your grave, now, now you're lying. You, now you suffer. This is what you wanted. Don't come crying to everybody else. Picture me, picture me, picture me. He's added a spotlight. <clears throat> Dumbo ears sessions. 
but it's still that administration is so fucked up. Oh, it's just over there. Why didn't I throw that out? Yeah, I'll throw it out with this stupid check. No, no, I don't. That might be worth nothing someday. <laughs> This is another whack job from what I hear. He's a religious freak. He's a religious, He's a a religious fanatic. <clears throat> mm -hmm. These are people that insist that if a guy masturbates, you're murdering sperm. It's, it's, it's murder. They actually, they're that crazy. You're getting your rocks off. Yeah, Nick Nick Santorum is another religious freak. Oh, God. Now, Rick Santorum, I'm sorry. Now he's got a job on uh, once in a while. He's he's on CNN. You realize during the primaries, wait, up here I forget what state, one diner, two people showed up. I thought there were a lot more religious nuts out there. Two people. It showed him sitting there like this, and they said, "Isn't that sad?" Oh, my heart bleeds for him. Two people. Though. You know what I tell the religious nuts? A fertilized egg is no more a baby than an acorn is to an oak tree. It's a potential life. That's all it is. Oh, yeah, then again, how do you interpret that? It is, it is, who knows? We don't know. Nobody can prove it either no, way. No, we don't know. But neither do they know. Mm -hmm. The only people that actually come out with evidence is ancient aliens. They would, they would show you the chromosomes, DNA structure, the whole bit of the damn thing. They showed you the whole of the chromosomes and DNA, which everybody has in common, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. I wonder where your girlfriend's been, boy. <laughs> I come 3.15 every day. Eileen. Every day, 3.15 p.m. Sure you do, Eileen. Yeah. Liar. And when you think about it, it's like, I don't think she belongs to any organizations like, 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 where she, like, if she has an excuse of what, doing something else. What do you mean, like what? I, I don't think she's really that busy for her to... Does she like meditate and stare at the four walls? Maybe. Quite possibly. Quite probably. She said she just sits home. If she don't make, then all of a sudden she's shopping at Goodwill every day. I don't know what the truth is. Oh God. I stopped at Walmart to pick up a couple items, and they had a representative for the Medicare um, supplemental. Uh, insurance oh, I the thing at the front with the, yeah, the, oh, God, God, I told I told him okay, okay, I, I told him I says here's my United Healthcare card how come they don't pay for dental work I said they told him they didn't even give me options when I call United Healthcare what's the point in them paying for x-rays if they won't pay for work she says you're absolutely right mr. Madonna I says well I says you're gonna my open enrollment is the 15th I gotta make I gotta make a switch she says, you need, you have an HMO. What you need is a supplemental PPO. I suppose people are supposed to know all these goddamn differences. But they didn't tell me this when I, I said to, well, how come they never said anything to me when I called? Yeah, how are you supposed to know this? How will you know this? You know, you know what United Healthcare did when I called them? They just stuck me in a plan. They just like went, okay, you're covered. I said, it's like when Oscar Madison uh, tried to hook up Felix with insurance and the guy shook his hand and says, you are hereby insured. You know, when Oscar shift the uh, connections. Well, what happened yesterday with your mom? You said you just put to talk to the doctor. You know, it, it doesn't take... You don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to use common sense in running a business. Well, some uh, some of us make it seem like you do. And you know what's funny? The the ones like the younger guys that have business cards and they brag that 
like they're self-made. Meanwhile, their father established the business and they just took over. They just took over. Well, they make the business cards up probably for the for the ladies so they can oh, hand them out. Yeah. My, my, my friend from Guyana said what you said. Be, beware of a guy who brags about his sexual exploits. He's, he's, usually, he's most likely he's totally Not full of shit. Money. Yeah, she, he said men, men don't, don't even bring the subject up. I mean, honest men. You just came back, and yeah, now you gotta yeah, walk all the way down. Yeah. Uh, go over there afterwards. Yeah, I, I gotta give him his. Uh, I got his tripod for his smartphone. Who? The 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 Mexican. Um, you know his name. I I don't. The the bartender. Oh Oz. Oh Oz. Oh okay. Not that wizard guy. <laughs> this way I can mention both of them when I do a review of how great they are. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.